Hey guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Watches TV, where I watch all the TV shows, and then I come over here and I react to them. And today I want to talk about the show on Netflix called A Man on the Inside. It was just released last week. It's not typically a show that I would watch, but I ended up absolutely loving it. So I wanted to come over here and I wanted to talk about the show. Now, um, I'm going to get brief, brief details about the show, but I know that the show just came out, so I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. Um, and and I, whenever I say that, I'll give like one little detail and somebody will say, you totally ruined it for me. I didn't know in the fifth episode they were going to eat an apple. Anything that I say will not ruin the show for you. I just want to make that very, very clear. But even though I say that, I still know that there will be that one person that said, I didn't know they were going to drink coffee in the eighth episode. So there will be a little bit here and there of, of brief spoilers, brief spoilers. But um, let me tell you uh, how I came to watch this show. So the other night I had finished some show and I don't even know what it was. And I was like looking for a new show to binge watch. So because of, you know, reacting to shows over here, every day I go through the top 10 on Netflix and the top 10 on Max. And I look through the top 10 new shows on Apple and I go through all the shows to see is there, what are, what are people watching? And um, I had seen, and like, because I always look through Netflix to see like what new shows are coming out. And I had seen the the trailer for this show, and I was like, mm, I'm not, I don't know that I'm really about this show. I'm not somebody that loves comedies, if you want to know the truth. Um, and I had, and I am not a huge Ted Danson fan. He's the star of this show, and Ted Danson of Cheers fame. He had also been in The Good Place, which incidentally is kind of similar to the show in like its humor and things like that. And there's actually a cameo from somebody in The Good Place. At the end of the show. Um, just a very brief cameo. Um, but I ended up loving The Good Place. It's one of my favorite TV shows to this day. Enough people recommended it to me that I was like, if enough people recommend a show to me, I will try it. And so I watched The Good Place. But I'm not a huge Ted Danson fan. I, I never have been. And so I just, I don't know. I never really like... All my family and stuff love the show Cheers. It just was not a show that I loved. Even watching, you know, A Good Place. Is it A Good Place or The Good Place? I don't remember. But anyway, you know the show I'm talking about. Um, even watching that, I thought he was fantastic on the show. I just, there's something about Ted Danson I've never been like a super fan of. I don't know what it is. And so I kind of was like really has, I really wanted to watch something that I couldn't stop watching. So I had seen the trailer. I knew that it was coming up, but then I looked at the top 10 on Netflix and I was kind of blown away because it was number one in the top 10. And I was like, so many people are watching this show. Like this, like it's eight episodes. I think it's eight episodes, a half an hour each episode, 25 to 30 minutes. And it's a comedy about a guy in his 70s. Like, who is watching a show? But recently, um, I have, like, you know, I love the show Only Murders in the Building. I've seen every season of it. Um, I love, you know, the, the casting of it. I love Steve Martin on the show. And Martin Short are so good together with Selena Gomez. Uh, I love that show so much. And I feel like as I get older, I'm 52 years old, that there are, are becoming more and more shows that not only are they, I feel like, aimed at like my age group or a little bit older than me, but they're also reminiscent of shows that I watched in my youth. Like, for example, two shows that I absolutely love right now are Elsbeth and Matlock. And Matlock is a, a reimagining of the original Matlock. And Elsbeth reminds me of something that I would have watched with my mom in high school. Um... So both of those, I think, are kind of aimed at an older generation. And it feels like a lot of television, you know, we're seeing a lot of actors that kind of, they seemingly retired at a younger age and they're coming out and they're doing more now. And they're kind of having this like reemergence into film and television, which I love. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, I'll give this show a shot. So let me read to you the synopsis about the show, which is very, very short. A Man on the Inside, um, it is uh, on Netflix, one season. And uh, somebody, the review said, 100%, love the casting. <laughs> a retired professor gets a new lease on life with a private investigator hires him to go undercover inside a San Francisco retirement home. So what it's about, and this is literally in probably the first 15 minutes of the first episode and part of the first episode. So nothing that I'm going to say is going to ruin past the first episode. It's about this guy, and um, he's a retired engineer, and Ted Danson. And I think he's supposed to be 75 in the show, which I looked it up, Ted Danson's 76. And so his wife has passed away. You don't really know why at the beginning of the show or how she's passed away, but she's passed away. He has one daughter. And so he spends his time like clipping out newspaper articles and sending them to his daughter. His daughter is married and she has three sons and they're constantly like getting into stuff and whatever. And so 
um, he like kind of lives vicariously through her. And so she has this conversation with him and she's like, dad, I'm kind of worried about you. Like you need to find a passion or you need to find a hobby or something to do other than just cutting out, uh, newspaper clippings and sending them to me. What's so funny about this is, you know, my mom passed away when she, she was 64 in 2008, but my mom did a lot of that. My mom would cut out magazine or newspaper articles that she wanted to remind me of, or she would keep notes about things she wanted to talk to me about and whatever. So it does remind me of having an older parent. Um, I, I also have, I, I feel like almost every one of my friends right now, their parents are either in retirement homes or memory care units. And so watching this show is very fitting for like my friend group of what we're all going through. Um, my dad is 84 and he's one of the only people, one of the only parents of anybody that I know that's not in a retirement home, you know, which is kind of strange. And I have a lot of friends of mine whose parents suffer from dementia and Alzheimer's and are um, in memory care units. So there is this ad that is put out, this classified ad, that they're looking for somebody that's that age, that has some technological skills. So it's this detective agency. And she gets hired to uh, investigate a woman who's in a retirement home, her necklace got stolen. And so she needs somebody to go into the retirement home and act like they live there so they can investigate whoever's thieving these, this jewelry from the retirement home. And so she's looking for like a, an older man that can go in there because the majority of the people that live in the retirement home are women. So she thinks that if she hires a man, then she will be, the women will be drawn to him and whatever. But it has to be somebody that has some technological skills that can email and text and things like that. And that whole hiring process is so funny. That's in the first step. Episode. So basically, the first episode is about Ted Danson getting hired by this private investigation firm to go into this retirement home and um, and to investigate what is going on with the, the like things that are being stolen, jewelry and other things that are being stolen in this retirement home. So that's the backstory to it. The front story and what the show is really about, I mean, I binge watched this in one night, okay? Now, y'all know I binge watch shows, but to, for me to binge watch a comedy show like this in one night, it takes a lot. This show was one of the most endearing, lovable shows that I have seen in a very, very long time. It's about making friends as you get older. It's about you're never too old to live your life. It's about grieving things in your past, but also at the same time accepting that that's life and living the best life that you possibly can until you can't anymore. Um, it's about all these friendships that are made throughout the course of the show. And it's just so fantastically done. And it's, it also shows, you know, the younger generation looking at the older generation kind of passing judgment. When the, the older generation, they've already lived their lives, you know? And so now they're just, ha they're trying to have the time of their life, but it talks about health complications. It heavily talks about dementia and Alzheimer's in here. And I think it's one of the only shows that I've seen in a long time that gives so much reverence and I think uh, important uh, I don't even know how to say it. I was going to say polite, but important, I think, endearing attention to people with dementia and Alzheimer's. I have so many friends of mine whose parents are suffering from that. And that that's a discussion that we're not really having right now. So to put it in the, in the context of a TV show is fantastic. Sally Struthers is in the show and um, from All in the Family. My mom's whole life, people told her that she looked like Sally Struthers. And so when I saw her come on, I was like, is that Sally Struthers? And there are just moments in the show where they're dancing through the aisles of stores and they're cracking up over a joke that the majority of us would think is so stupid, but the older you get, those are the jokes you laugh at. They're having moments over times that, you know, my friend Tanya, my best friend Tanya always says, as you get older, the road narrows. And this is a show that I think exemplifies that idea that as you get older, the road narrows and that there is a lot of sadness that comes along with getting older and knowing that there's only so much time left and people have left already, but there's also so much fun and enjoyment still to be had. This is a fantastic television show. I would recommend it to anybody. If you've watched it, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't spoil it for anybody. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.